other week I made a video on quick shots and master shots and why I thought quick shots were actually so much better and more useful than master shots. But the Mini 3 Pro has actually got a couple of other functions up its sleeve that also helps you get outstanding professional and very easy dynamic shots. Point of interest, POI and also spotlight. So whilst I'm down here at the ancient Isle of Avalon, better known as Glastonbury, I thought I'd actually just take the Mini 3 Pro through its paces and show you how to get uh, the most out of this uh, extra amazing little bit of functionality. So the idea of Spotlight is very straightforward. Once you tap and drag the subject and highlight it, the camera will lock onto that subject. And then no matter how you fly, it will always do its best to keep the camera focused on the subject that you've marked out. So you can use both sticks. You can go up, down, you can fly around. And no matter which pattern or which direction you fly in, the drone will always face that subject and the camera will always stay locked on that particular subject that you have mapped out. This is a really, really good way to get your own type of flight and you're not gonna be limited to just a straightforward circle or the helix or one of the other pre-programmed maneuvers that you get in quick shots. It allows you to fly exactly as you want, always keeping the camera automatically focused on that subject. Point of interest, on the other hand, is a little bit like the uh, circle in the quick shots that you get. Once you tap uh, point of interest, POI, you will then see a double directional arrow. You can make it go one way or the other, and you can also slide the arrow to make it go fast or slow. Once you tap go, it'll start doing a circle, but crucially, again, you're still free to use the sticks. So you can still use the left stick to increase the height or you can use the right stick to get closer to the subject or further away. So again, even though it's going to keep on trying to do a circle, you can actually vary how high and how far away the uh, flight is taking place by moving the sticks as you see fit. Now, of course, once you tap and drag, you can also see a third option on the left, active track. Active track obviously is trying to focus on a person or a vehicle and the drone will do its best to actually follow that subject as it moves. That's not what I want to talk about today. It will normally only focus on a person or a vehicle or a bicycle. You can't make it focus on an inanimate object like a tree. It just it'll actually tell you it can't focus on that. Um, but the other two uh, functions, point of interest and spotlight, I think are immensely useful. Bits of functionality, again, just making it very easy for you to concentrate on flying the drone, not worrying about keeping the subject at the center of the screen. The drone will do all of that for you. So a really easy way for you to get extremely smooth and professional shots again. So there we go. Very, very quick video this week, but uh, as I say, uh, sort of functionality that if you didn't know it existed, then you wouldn't know. Uh, there's no prompts that pop up, but uh, tap, drag, make your choice, point of interest or spotlight, two immensely useful bits of functionality. So get out and have a play. For now, I'm gonna have another little fly around the tour. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful countryside here. And uh, very lucky with the weather. Here we are in the middle of February and I've got a beautiful sunny day. So as ever, if you like this, give it a little thumbs up. Always helps the cause. Until next time, have fun, happy flying.